Vikram, it's lovely seeing you. How are you doing today? How is it? Very everything? well. Very well. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Well, congratulations. Uh, I was I was listening to Ryan Condell, the creator of the show, and he promised that this series will have fire and blood and, and many, many, many dragons. What yes. else will the audience see out there? there? Well, a lot of backstabbing. Yeah, a lot of backstabbing, a lot of manipulation, a lot of uh, people that you think are your friends turn out not to be, a lot of just um, changes of perspective. So you might at one point, like my children did when we watched the first episode, think, oh, he's nice. Hmm? How was that reaction? What happened the first time that you actually saw the first oh, episode? Oh, well, my, um, I mean, I'd seen some of it, obviously. I mean, I've worked on it, so. But uh, their reaction was just wonderful. At the end of it, they just looked at me and went, that was so cool. <laughs> you, you can't get a better review than that. So right. um, they loved it. And I it. wonder, do you think that 10 episodes will be enough to calm down the, 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 the fans, the nerds <laughs> out there, the craziness? No, well, the, well, the thing is that these 10 episodes will just make them want more and more. And so it just becomes, it, yes, it's never ending, really. I, Rickon Stark. I, Corlys Valarian. I, Orman Baratheon. Promise to be faithful to King Viserys and to his named heir, Princess Rhaenyra. Rhaenyra Targaryen. And you know, I mean, when you're making a show like this, obviously it comes with a legacy, it comes with the, the original series, and you want to honor that. You want, you have a responsibility to make sure that it's, it uh, lives up to those expectations, but you also have to remember as a participant in it to make it your own. Yeah, it's true. There were several uh, Game of Thrones spin off that probably, well, didn't survive. What is it about this particular one that was chosen to continue with this great story? Well, I mean, I mean, obviously I'm biased, but I think landing on the, the idea of that, that particular family, that particular uh, group of people, the Targaryens, was brilliant. Um, the fact that they're so connected with the dragons, but also as a family in the original show, they were just so interesting. You wanted to know while you were watching that original series what their history was, and this provides an answer to some of that. Interesting. Were you comfortable insert uh, Harold's suit? How uh, well, um, <laughs> you know, I'm more comfortable now. Let's put it that way. Uh, <laughs> so it yeah, awesome. you know, um, it is what it is. You know, it's a suit of armor, so exactly. you have to you you have to accept it. And I've it had so. I've had more uncomfortable costumes. Let's put it that way, for sure. In uh, the Marvel but, universe. In, 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 well, yes, uh, well, not the Marvel Universe, uh, Aquaman and in The Hobbit. Yes, I was um, pretty uncomfortable in those outfits. But hey, you know, they um, they make they make the magic. And um, oh, you know, Harold's costume is, is the same. And House of Dragon is totally, totally magic and fantasy. And, and once again, thank you, Graham. It's lovely talking to you. And we're all waiting here in Argentina, all the Argentinian fans, audience. It's going crazy. Oh, well, I hope I get to visit Argentina one day. I've always wanted to come. So. Oh, you, you're going to love it. Yes. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye.